Hey everybody, this is a video response to Joe, Realist News. I just got finished watching your video, a quick sum of the video. He went into, he went into a casino and started to notice uh, people obsessed with gambling and of course losing a lot. And I used to do a, lot of, do a lot of this gambling too, but I always wanted the odds in my favor. So you stay away from the slot machines, you stay away from the roulette, all that type of stuff. It's, it's, it's a crapshoot and the odds are in their favor. Blackjack, uh, it's too much work, and I don't have the focus to count cards. I tried, didn't succeed, and really didn't lose really much because I was betting smaller trying to learn. Now, poker's a little bit different. Now, the difference with poker, they don't care if you win or lose because they get rake or buy MPs for tournaments, so it really doesn't matter too much. And I got these poker chips. These are for casinos I'm never going to go back to again. They're 16 worth. If anyone wants to buy them, they're 10. And... Uh, these ones here are to another 16 worth for Casino Rama in Ontario. I'm planning on going back one more time. I've not been there in three months, three years, three months. Play one more time. Win, lose, or draw. And when I go there, I only play poker. It's all about profiling the people. Try to find out what they're all about, what kind of play they're going to make, and then reading it play by play. Using my favorite lines like if I fold, will you show the reason why I say that is because I want to get them to react. Or how many chips do you got back? Same thing again. I know what they got back, but I just need, to, need them to say something or do something so I get a tell. They don't, even, they don't even have to say anything for me to get a tell. Simply the way they move their eyes or how they breathe is a lot of times enough for me. Anyway, I don't want to make this a long video. It was interesting because I was playing a tournament one time. I rarely play tournaments. It's usually always cash games. It was a satellite to get into a higher tournament. And I won it. And they say, okay, we're going to need your card so that you can be registered for it. No, no, no. I don't want a card because I don't want you to track me plain and simple. And I didn't say that, but I had no choice if I wanted to play a tournament. So there we go. There's my card. I now need that every time I take the bus trip because if I want my free meal, it comes on you. Whatever. Alrighty, but it's interesting because I've played against a bunch of people and I've seen the frustration within people. I take them for like 150. I had Ace King with a pair of Aces. They had Ace Nine and they liked their Aces just as much as I did. Whatever. They lose. They all get frustrated. Now I know you're going to tilt. So next hand later, I get a pocket, I say I get pocket Jacks or even pocket Nines or something. I can't remember what it was. Okay, I'm going to put you all in because I know you're tilting and boom, I nailed you all in. And then the guy gets frustrated, he gets kicked out of the casino. Boom. People get a little bit ticked off. But what's interesting is, I, uh, ha I have a late aunt who passed away a few months ago. Uh, talk about losing a million dollars in a casino. Literally, you get to the point where you'd win a big, she'd win a big jackpot, say 20000 And normally, she'd lose about anywhere between 800 to 3000 in a day. But now that she won twenty or thirty thousand, the next day she loses eleven thousand. Find that very interesting. So, just being in the family that I happen to be in, who are a bunch of compulsive gamblers, I was surrounded by it my whole life. Now, what I did as a child, when I, when I say child, I mean like 12, 13 years old, uh, there's got to be a way to win at this. So, I had to figure out ways of winning, which realized it was either poker or sports betting. That, it was the only way for me. But I just see the obsession that people have within gambling. It's a disease, and they can't control it. They simply cannot control it, and but there's not much else I just said. Not much more I need to say other than it's a major addiction, and... I base it all on the monetary system and a greedy based society. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care. And thanks again, Joe. I love all your videos. If anyone makes like 20, 30 minute videos all the time, it's very hard for people to watch that. But man, I get excited whenever you put out a video because I love what you have to say. And I like how you put logic to things in a very calm manner. And take care, everybody. Bye-bye.